Hi, it's Pleasant, and um, by request of one of my students, we're going to do, one of our students, we're going to do a little um, core work and a little creative flow for our core. Um, so come into a comfortable seat, and let's just start with some nice big circles. So why do we start in this way? Because we want to check in to see what's happening with our back. We want to see what's happening with our side. We want to just start to warm up the muscles, start to get some of the uh, fluids moving. So moving one way and then the other and then front on the inhale and exhale back. So just taking any organic movements here, forward and back or big circles. And even, so I was traveling yesterday and then switched across of your legs. I was traveling yesterday and my low back from so much driving on uh, in the past few days is a little bit tight and I can feel that as I'm doing this little warm up. And so it's really important that as I do the rest of my work on my um, core and my abdominals that I keep in mind that my low back is already a little sore. So I'm not gonna do a really strenuous, intense workout um, if my low back is already sore because my front, I'm overcompensating. Um, the sitting causes the tension, but then also um, I will most likely be in more pain later if I do a really intense core workout, not paying attention to what's really happening in my body right now because, um, because of the tension in my back, my abs will maybe not kick in as much, and then all of a sudden there I am with more low back pain. So really mindful to see where you are today. So let's actually start just with some roll-ups. So sitting up nice and tall, inhale your arms up, and then exhale, just start to roll back and down. Notice you might need to bring your knees up as you do that, which is totally fine, all the way down, and then coming all the way back up, your knees are bent, and then straighten them out and then fold forward. So let me do it on the side so you can see it this way too, okay? So inhale, and then exhale. As I start to peel back, because of that tension in my back, I'm not gonna do it with straight legs because I can feel the pain. So I'm gonna bend and then lower and stretch. Ah, enjoying a nice stretch here, and then coming all the way back up, bending, and then I can straighten out. Down. So again, we're using all of the muscles, checking in. Don't be shy to bend your knees. So let's do um, another seated. So you can do that like five times or so. Next exercise we're going to do is bringing your hands to your heart, and then you're just tapping one, two, and side to side, three. You might do about ten of these on each side, four. You're using all of the muscles. Once you feel yourself starting to do that, see, I can see that I'm slumping. Lift up and start again. One, woo, lots of muscles it takes you. Two, so you're really strong through here. And the moment you feel this, realign, really different. You can feel really different. If this starts to feel really easy as you're tapping, then you can lift a leg and do it. But you don't wanna do that and then have that back slouch, okay? So roll ups, seated taps, and then let's go ahead and come, actually, let's do a, a set here on our back. So laying down. So if regular sit-ups don't feel good to you, where you're sitting all the way up with legs, knees bent, do little tiny crunches. So again, looking straight up, don't look down and jam your neck, and don't look all the way back so that you're jamming your neck. Really simple, arms out to the side. Make sure you're not curling them in um, because that creates a little bit more stress on the neck. So really light fingertips, little space between your chin and your chest. And there's lots of deep breaths as you inhale and exhale. Any natural um, breathing is fine for this, for the lift and lower. Then, so do about 10 of these with your feet down and then lift and come to halfway and do about 10 with your feet at halfway, okay? If that feels okay in your back, then you can lift straight up, spread through your toes, and then do 10 here and 10 here. I'm just going through quickly 
and 10 here at the bottom. So again, if, if this level feels too hard for you, then stay at halfway or stay with your legs down and take a break as you need it, okay? And you can even do the twisting here too, so you're coming across, up and down, up and down, across, and you can do it with your knees bent, up and down, okay? So again, lots of variation there. Thing to pay attention to there is if your neck is starting to get really tight or hurt, it means you don't have enough breath, you don't have enough space, or you don't have enough strength. So back off, take a rest. That's also why I like to do all this core work at different planes. So some, like we were doing before the seated, um, some on your back, and then some where you're lengthening out just like this. So you're on your knees and your ankles, and you're just lifting and stretching. This way, again, we're putting all this energy into this whole middle section. So it's not creating tension for it. So we're just taking a little break here and maybe a little twist. With some nice deep breathing. Now the other core um, series that's really, really great for us, especially um, when our low backs hurt or our necks hurt, is to come into plank poses. So I'm gonna do this one on the side too so you can see a little bit better. So just start with a half plank, one leg down, one leg extended, and draw your belly in, 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 in. My belly is very strong here. And then a lift, hold, and then lower other leg. So hold for three, and then lift, and lower. Okay, so you have a lot of variation here to play with. Also in the planks, you can do some, um, they call these jumping jack planks, where your legs come out and in like jumping jacks. Okay, <laughs> so a nice counter pose for your planks is a child's pose. Just take a few deep breaths here. One nice version of child's pose that I like a lot is to walk hands way over to the side and get a nice stretch on um, that opposite side and then walk to the center and stretch to the other side. Really nice stretch through here while I'm taking my break. I'm gonna take my next set of planks and this is great if your wrists bother you in regular planks is just forearm planks. You can bring your hands to namaste and then just lift here and lower and here Really pay attention that you're not lifting your tush all the way up because that's not really doing anything for my core and that you're not sagging. That hurts my low back. So I want to find right, whoa, that's really where everything is engaged. Same modification here. You can drop a knee, drop another knee, and come back to your child's pose. So again, the key to you not hurting your low back when you're doing some core work is that you're paying attention to your breath and the energy of all the torso, all the muscles, and you're mixing it up. So again, some seated, some on your back, some planks. Namaste. Have a great day. Let me know how this worked for you and how you liked doing some core work.